When I looked at it, it was very, very obviously a bone. Here, this is the site where Nathan made his first discovery. This is a very significant find. This is the upper arm bone, or what we call a humerus, of a young duckbill dinosaur, or hadrosaur. I was so excited that, like, I didn't even feel that excited. I was just, like, in so much shock. It was really amazing. Me and my dad come here pretty much every year, and we have been since about, well, for about six years or so. A few years ago, we came here and we found a bunch of small bone fragments on the ground. And we were pretty excited about them, but we didn't think that they were dinosaur fossils. And then this year, we came back to that same site. We found some fragments of fossils down on the valley floor. Um, and then, you know, I said to Nathan, well, if, it's, if they're down here, that means they're coming from up there. So I went up and on a little plateau, they were just sitting there. When I found them, I was just in so much shock. Like, it was, it was just really amazing that like, for someone who's wanted to be a paleontologist since he was like six or five or so, it's pretty amazing to find something real. My name is Francois Terry. I'm the curator of dinosaur paleoecology at the Royal Tyrrell Museum. Nathan made his discovery in early July, so he reported this find, and I came and visited the site with him and his father in mid-July and immediately at the, at the surface we could see uh, the upper arm bone of a young uh, duckbill dinosaur and right next to it there was part of a skull. So immediately I said, this is significant, we need to excavate. This is the weaker area. This is like the that. upside? Yeah. Uh, Those things weigh a heck of a lot. There you go. Know, Contacted the Royal Tyrell Museum and you know they worked with the Nature Conservancy of Canada to give us access and, and yeah, here we are. Wow. Well, four months it's later, we're uh, in a standing, big hole. <laughs> standing in a big hole where there used to be dinosaur fossils. <laughs> because we're in a part of a province where we actually have very few uh, reports of fossils being discovered. There's lots of fossils being discovered in the valley, in the Drumheller Valley, or in Dinosaur Provincial Park. But here, it's kind of a little isolated place, so we have a, a kind of a gap in terms of fossil discovery. But also the other point of this is that uh, the time interval represented by the rocks behind me it represent a gap about 69 million years ago when we don't know what type of dinosaurs lived around here. So now the discovery that Nathan made is of great significance because it fills those gaps. Yeah, the other one is still in a jacket, so it hasn't been prepared yet, but it's a bone just like this one that he found. Yeah, Nathan did uh, the right thing. He basically a textbook example of what we'd like people to do when they make a find, leave the fossils there, take photos, information about their location, and then report them to the Royal Tyrrell Museum, because you never know, something that may look insignificant can turn up to be a very significant discovery, just like you. Every year we've come here, we found something a little bit better than the last year, so now we just have to try and outdo ourselves from the whole skeleton.